Thomas Nast was born in Landua, Germany on September 27, 1840. He moved to New York with his mother when he was six and his father joined him four years later once he finished in the army. In school, he would much rather draw than do any schoolwork. This caused his grades to fall and after a few years he dropped out of school to pursue his dream in drawing. No, you have to stay in school. No, like, I love drawing. No, you see, here, solve this. This is going to be able to help you with money. Can I solve your problem? I'll solve your problem. I'll solve your problem. Problem solved. In 1862, he got a job at Harper's Weekly, a popular newspaper in New York City. He drew powerful political cartoons of the Civil War, slavery, and government corruption. He helped Abraham Lincoln get elected due to his cartoons. He drew about how he disliked the Catholic Church's role in education. He did also depict the Irish immigrants as angry drunks due to his run-ins with them when he was younger. He gave his support to the Native Americans and American Chinese, because of their unfair treatment at the time. In his cartoons, he also advocated the abolition of slavery, opposed racial segregations after the Civil War, and deplored the acts of violence used by the Ku Klux Klan. During the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln called him the best recruiter for the Army. His cartoons inspired many to join the Union Army. Lincoln, we have to win this election. How are you going to do that right here? It's perfect. Mateo, send this out to the newspapers. In the 1870s, he focused his cartoons against political corruption. He focused most of his work against New York political machine leader William Boss Tweed. These cartoons caused Tweed to offer him about $500,000 to stop, but Ness continued and eventually led to him being identified when he tried to leave the country and was jailed. Thomas Ness, I need you to stop making those political cartoons. They are hurting my reputation. I'm willing to offer you upwards of $500,000 to stop from me. Never gonna stop. I need you to stop. Never. During his time there, he also created the modern representation of the Democratic donkey and the Republican elephant. He left Harper's Weekly after 25 years, and his family went through some hard times. His friend and President Theodore Roosevelt appointed him to the Attorney General of Ecuador to help him with money. When he spent time there, though he contracted yellow fever and died on December 7, 1902, he is still considered one of the best and most influential political cartoonists of all time. Mr. Nest, you are a great man. May you rest easy. Thank you. You are the best cartoonist ever. I know.